Montana Gertz. Welcome to the show. How are you, girlfriend? I am great. Thank you for having me, JC. You're amazing. Now, just say your name so everybody hears from you exactly how it's supposed to be pronounced. Tana Gertz. <laughs> Tana Gertz. <laughs> I didn't school you. I never school you. You're the teacher. <laughs> you are an American business strategist, international keynote speaker, executive coach, and author with a record of proven results. Many know you as a motivational speaker, life coach, and author. Obviously, you are very famous, actually, in, in my eyes you are, and in the eyes of many people, for being on the NBC, NBC hit show, The Apprentice, with, yes, our president now, our president, Mr. Donald J. Trump. You are involved with his campaign. You're involved with him at the president level, um, and you are an, an amazing presenter and public speaker, and your most popular presentations are The Art of Being Unforgettable and From the Basement to the White House. How cool is that? So um, without further ado, once again, let me introduce you to our amazing guest of the Win All Day podcast show. Remember, it's Miss, the one and only superstar. Gertz is in the building. How are you, girlfriend? Oh, thank you. That was so sweet of you. I'm awesome. I I'm ready to win all day. I do win all day. So we're a perfect match. Well, I, you know, it's so interesting. People think that when you have notoriety or face or name recognition that you change, and a lot of people do, but my family and the people that know and love me the most, they say, my gosh, Tana, like you're the same little girl that you were, you know, trying to be the teacher in first grade as you are now um, or was in 2016 being a senior advisor for Donald Trump. And, at the, and I thought about it and I was like, you know, you're right. The same values, the same habits, the same um, attributes that made me who I was at a, as a little girl are what helped me succeed in life. And who that is and who I am is I'm a fearless, unstoppable, unique individual who realized really young in, in life that I wanted to tap into what made me different more so than what made me alike other people. And I realized, you know, we're all different in our own unique ways, but people always try to fit in. And I have always been the type of person that I never cared about fitting in. I never needed to be the most popular. I never needed to have um, accolades and recognition and people I never needed notoriety, but it's amazing when you don't need it, God gives it to you because you're authentic. And so I was fearless. I was unstoppable. I was unique. Um, I realized that being unforgettable got me opportunities and I tapped into all of that. I love being able to do what you do, JC, and that is to teach others that success is within all of our DNA. We can all win all day long, every day. It doesn't, you don't need to be skinny, beautiful, fit like you or me. Um, you don't need to have money. You don't need to have an amazing support system. We can all win, but a lot of people just need to be trained and taught how to do that. And, and that's where I think we're so much alike, where we have that desire and that passion and, and also that love and um, hope for others to succeed because in this world, a lot of people don't clap when you are winning. They're jealous of you and they hate you for that. And I've never been that type of a person. I love to see people win. So that's a little bit about me. I think so many people, they don't accomplish and don't fulfill their goals and their dreams because they're always searching for identity. And you said, listen, I'm gonna, I, have, I have who I was created to be. God made me wonderfully. I'm not gonna ever be like Coach JC. I'm never gonna be like that girl. And I could waste my entire life trying to be somebody else, trying to take on a false identity, trying to compare myself to everybody. But you know what? What if I was just to show up who I am? Imagine the impact and the influence that I can make and you've done it. Authenticity shines. So, you know, you look at certain people and I get this a lot and I'm very blessed to, ha to hear this a lot, but people say, you know, you seem so real, you shine, you have a light in your eye. And that's all, of course, from God. But at the reality of what they're saying is you're authentic, Tana, and it shows. So what I would say to somebody that says, you know, I don't have your gifts and I don't know what my gifts are. I say, get out a legal pad of paper and start writing down. What have people said? you're great at please don't allow your past failures your past mistakes your past trials your storms your obstacles your adversities to hold you back from being who you are called to be those things do not define you <laughs>